Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel The Guided Intuitive and thank you so much for being here. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to jump in and do the read for you and who and that who could be a friend, family member, uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, one side of a situation in love or not uh, in love uh, and even a person of interest, all right? It's a general read so if you're looking for a personal read that taps into your own personal energies, uh, go to The Guided Intuitive up here or my description box, all right? All right, so we're going to jump into this. Uh, we're going to see See what's happening for the first two weeks of May. Uh, I want to thank all of you that have been book booking uh, coaching sessions with me. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm also thinking of all of you during this time as well. Uh, uh, in and just really thinking of all of you and hoping that you are safe and secure and uh, uh, handling uh, these transitions. And the best way that we could do this is by collectively, uh, you know, really focusing on um, being our highest, best self. Because I truly believe that collectively we can actually raise the vibration of the universe in doing so. Uh, so, and that being said, uh, I am interested uh, in actually starting a pilot program. So for some of you that are interested in really uh, getting rid of the confusion and getting rid of the anxiety and, uh, you know, just kind of the out of control kind of type situation. Uh, and you're really focused on now with your new, what you know now, how you want to actually move forward and get some clarity, get a blueprint or some sort of roadmap on how you should, how you want to move forward, whether that be in a relationship or situation or just life overall. I've got a pilot program that's going to be coming out that could really, it really focuses on reignite your life from the inside out and it's so absolutely wonderful um, I have been coaching on it one-on-one -on -one, and now I'm bringing it to a pilot program so those of you that are interested uh, and I uh, have an interest for that please note your comments below because before I do it I want to see if there's a, a, a big interest uh, in terms of that all right but it's gonna be a small group I'm only gonna work uh, with a very small group because then I can get a lot more individualized attention on this uh, so it'll be just a small group of you but it'll be at a very introductory price so just note your comment below if it is something you're interested in and then you can private message me or send me an email and in the subject just put uh, program uh, interest and uh, I can get back with you with some of the details on that too okay I just want to see if you're interested so note your comments below it's usually for those of you that already met me and kind of know me and, and kind of the work that I do uh, and if you're new and you're interested in this I would just book a discovery session up here okay all right so that being said I'm excited to do this because I really think it can help the collective and um, just just thrilled uh, because we're, I've been doing that uh, so many of you on these one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions and I want to bring that same program actually out to a pilot program uh, so super thrilled all right so let's uh, see what's going on for you all right what's going on for Sagittarius all right uh, where are you at right now where are you at well, good. This is a brand new beginning. So this is what I'm seeing. We've got the page of swords. Okay. So you're kind of, you've got this new beginning and a fresh page. It's a new kind of spring day and a new opportunity to move forward on what it is that you want. So this is a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius type energy. So you might be taking on this energy or you might have an interest in an air sign. So there you have it. But a new opportunity, this is a, a, a page. So you could get some sort of message from a particular, particular uh uh you know uh, air sign or perhaps that you're just taking on this brand new energy and you are moving forward uh on a brand new beginning in a relationship or situation uh so to speak okay now keep in mind that uh you one side might resonate more than the other but i'm focusing you on here now okay so page of swords what else oh wow okay new beginning that's coming out of a heartbreak but you know what's so interesting sag is i really feel that this is being put behind you that this is is mostly already over with and it's kind of like what I felt for um I don't know who it was I think it was Aquarius uh as well but you're gonna have to check out that read so make sure that you check out your uh moon rising and your Venus signs uh uh as well just check and, and check out the other videos in that as they come out but yeah it's some sort of heartbreak so a new beginning after a heartbreak in a relationship or situation so maybe something didn't work out uh I'm gonna clarify this three of swords again more air energy so I really get a lot of air uh, unless you have that in your chart you might be dealing with someone that 
uh, has it in their chart or is an air sign. And Empress Energy. Okay, Sag. So I really feel that uh, this is you being that nurturer and kind of taking on and nurturing yourself at this time. I really feel that you're taking on this energy right now. Uh, you're basking uh, in your, uh, your creativity right now. You're focusing on that and using kind of that creativity to balance out your energies, especially after some sort of heartbreak that had taken place that now allows for a brand new beginning. So you're, you're taking on that yummy Empress Energy. I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's great. And it's really about she creates things. So she's a creator. So she thinks of something, she could create it right away, right? And she, uh, it's, it's balancing herself out, but it's also, you know, she likes nice things uh, and uh, balancing out her energies at this particular time is what I feel. Okay. So anything else? The tower. So yeah, there was an ending that uh, brought some heartbreak that came to an end of a situation but now it's about rebalancing yourself and getting on i really feel that this empress energy is you um, is really what i feel um now for some of you a very small amount of you this could be another person uh in terms of this relationship or situation it could be and that hence why you're moving forward on a brand new beginning here um but i just think the majority of you you're taking on this empress energy after some sort of heartbreak of some sort uh, and, and that's really how I feel. Okay. Uh, so anything else on your side that needs to come out? So you've gone through some changes. Yeah. It's kind of as if that, um, in doing it all that, that this is a, um, Aries Leo Sagittarius type energy. So this is kind of like you tearing the heavy load of everything on yourself, maybe pertains to this love situation. And this is saying, is that come to an end? The tens are coming to an end. Uh, yeah. And right. And, uh, so that's exactly what I see here. Anything else from this 10 of wands? Ten of Wands. It's like it's like you're you're done. You're, you've done you've done everything that you could in this situation, and now it's about turning the page and balancing your energy before you do so. Yeah, you know that you've got something valuable, and um, uh, and I really feel that you feel that it's important, and and that you are going to uh, take that cup to where that it's going to be valued as well. So you really are in your emotions too. I mean, you, you are very an expressive individual and it was coming out here is that you're seeing that and then uh, you're realizing that, that it is a value. Okay. So again, uh, you, you know that your heart is a value. And so you, you cherish it and you're looking for someone to cherish that as well. Okay. Queen of Cups. Yeah, I just get an ending after ending. Oh my gosh, I've never, I don't think I've ever gotten this all at the same time. Check this out, guys. So we get the death card. We've got the 10 card, which is coming to fruition, which is an ending. We get the tower card, right? So this is trifecta done, okay? So I really feel that whatever it is has been wrapped up that has to do with some sort of heartbreak. Note your comments below because I'd like to know, but I see you here and really cherishing your, uh, your, your, your emotions. Okay. Now again, it could be for some of you, it could be there was an extra person in here, uh, another Empress energy, uh, of some sort. And, and this is you. So, but I'm really feeling that I think you're balancing your emotions and you're stepping into your Empress energy in, in balancing. This is about balancing your chakras. This represents the chakras. Chakras. That's why I feel it has a lot more with the emotions here. So I'm going to pull another card from a different deck and see what the uh, 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 what this wants to say to you here. Let's see what this wants to come through here. Wandering path. You're on this journey, right? You're on this incredible journey, and it's kind of going this way and then this way and then this way. This, you know, enjoy the journey. It's a wandering path, but this is really wants to let you know to enjoy it. Enjoy this wandering path because there's a reason it's winding. There's there's lessons that the divine and the universe wants you to know. So it might take you off path a little bit and then bring you back on it again, and then take you back off. That is, I mean, that's what success looks like sometimes. It's not that, you know, straight, just moving up the, the chain that, that a lot of it, it could be for a few, but for most of us, it's like this, it's that wandering path, right? And you're picking up little gems of lessons on your road, okay? And it's going to provide you a roadmap to how to move forward in your love life and in your life overall. And that's what I see here. So this is beautiful. Uh, this is nice. This is beautiful. Uh, and that's exactly what I see here. So let's see what else wants to come out here for you. Where are you at? 
passion and pleasure. So this is about really savoring the life that you have right now, right? This is like dancing in the moonlight. This is about, you know, spending time. A lot of us, we're doing this. We're spending time at home and we're coming very creative with the fun things to do. And uh, let me know if you're doing weird things as well, because, you know, everything from eating uh, bad, you know, sweet cereal, like Oreo cereal to just you know, crazy stuff. So, so note if that's what you're doing, guys, because I know that I can't only be the weird one here. Um, I really feel that maybe you're just making your fun creative ways to have fun in what we're doing, you know, as it pertains to what's happening in the world right now. And, and this is what this is saying. It's like really savoring your life and doing the fun things, you know, dancing, being creative, you know, doing these fun things. Um, and it's really quite beautiful. And, you know, have, and, and, and that's what really what I feel It's like cherishing your home life and doing what you're doing, but it's really savoring the life and focusing on your passion and focus, focusing on the pleasures, you know, to really, again, that brings you into this yummy empress energy. And that's what I feel passion and pleasure and just getting into your energy. This is beautiful, really beautiful guys. Anything else that wants to come through for you here? Let's see what else. Okay. Revision. So this is about, you know, you know, kind of going on those twists and turns of your journey. You're realizing there was a mindset that needed to be revised, that there is maybe some sort of circuitry within your mind that you needed to make a change from so you can move forward successfully. And this could be revising your love life. So note your comments below or just a mindset, guys. It could be just a mindset that needed some rewiring and you're recognizing that. And so this, this journey within uh, in this, you know, in this brand new beginning is because you've done some rewiring. Now, if some of you are still stuck in this, then you definitely want to go to beyond the read up here. Okay. Because that's where we go through and we uproot the, what's been happening and, and kind of standing in your way of your life, you know, in your, your relationship, your work, uh, again, overall. So that's, what's coming to There's some rewiring of a mindset that might need a little tweaking here. Um, anything else that wants to come through for you here before we jump onto the other side? guilt so this is about this is about that if, if you this is about this releasing any beliefs and we just talked about that releasing the beliefs that may cause some of the guilt but releasing the beliefs that no longer serve you because they're what they're doing is they're standing in the way of your soul's growth of your love life growth you know in your business whatever your life overall that this is standing in the way. So note your comments below, guys, if that is the case, you might find yourself uh, going through maybe some sort of spiral of guilt, right? And and that can lead you down a wrong path. And this is just saying is to release any self-limiting beliefs that are blocking you, right? You know, from your relationship, you know, uh, from, you know, a, a situation, or again, or just life overall, because it's, 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 it's blocking your soul's growth and your growth want, you wants to continue, right? You wants to continue. Let's take a look at this other person and see where they're at. Let's take a look at where they're at, okay? Let's see where they're at right now. Here we go. Wow, there, it looks like they've got a lot of choices in their life. There's there's some choices. They're just determining which ones and sifting and sorting which ones are real viable choices in life relating to love. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces type energy. Uh, and it's a seven card, but it's just about having faith that they'll be able to choose the right one and, 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 and not being in the shadow self and choosing it, but really kind of really focusing on the light and looking at each cup carefully. So, uh, it, it, and kind of not just looking at the darker side of the self, but also focusing on the light and balancing that out within the person. And, and once they balance that out and don't go for the lower level energies, they will actually end up making a better choice. So this is about lots of choices that they have in terms of love and a relationship uh, is what I see here. They're, they're choosing. They're trying to figure out what that looks like. Anything else? Ace of Cups, emotional fulfillment. It looks like they've maybe made a good choice because this is the Ace is, a, is about a one and this is, uh, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces type energy. This is intimacy, emotional fulfillment. Uh, this is compassion. This is really beautiful. This is actually achieving uh, what it is that they love and, and, and the emotional balance that they want. So it's like about, I really feel that, you know, this is the, uh, yeah, the seven of cups. Uh, this actually makes it an eight, which balances things out. But I really feel this also for many of you, this is about a brand new beginning for this person. Emotional fulfillment, the ace is that new start right, of a new start of love. So it could be a rebirth of a new love uh, um, on this side, a new beginning. Let's see what else. What's this Ace of Cups? Yeah, messages coming through. It's an, This is an eight. How interesting. 
And that's just what I said. It's like messages are coming through. Very fast message and communication is coming through. So things weren't moving before. They're moving now. And this is really talking about communication is going to be coming through that is going to lead to this brand new beginning of emotional fulfillment. Again, you might resonate with this side more than the other or vice versa. Okay. Anything else? There's a brand new beginning. There's communication of this brand new beginning too. Okay. So let's see what else. Justice. The scale. Balancing out the scales right here. Justice will be served. So it's about things coming to where there's more of a balance in this relationship or situation. Uh, again, it's an 11 card, which is, you know, kind of two people. It, this is going through that next doorway, right? Uh, but cutting out what, you know, there's going to be a fair and just decision that's going to come through. And, uh, and this is solid. So something's going to come through, but it's going to balance the situation out. Okay. And that's what's coming through. Okay. Anything else? Yeah, it's like this person on this side has been, it's almost like someone's been giving and giving to balance the scales out. And this is saying that something needs to be said to balance things out. So that's what's coming into play. So we've got the uh, six of, um, of pentacles. And it's about someone that's helping you out, that's giving you money and helping you balance out your life. Uh, and, uh, and, and to balance things out that's fair in this relationship or situation. How interesting, guys. Let's see what else wants to come through for them over here. Interesting. Um, faraway places. This is about getting ready for new horizons. So in your love life, the person on this side is getting ready for brand new horizons coming through. So expanding horizons. You know who got this as well? Capricorn. So just to saying, you might be done with the Capricorn, but that came through on the Capricorn read on this side as well. Okay. So you might want to check out that read too. Anything else? Let's see fogged in this is about in a relationship or situation this person is feels a little foggy about things and they want to go slow and they want to take their time all right so that's what's coming into play so taking their time uh yeah it moving into new horizons and so just going slow until things clear and i think that's what a lot of us are doing right now and this allows us up an opportunity to go within and also, you know, to go through some of the things that we've been maybe putting off and, and that could be in terms of, you know, focusing on ourselves, personal development, that type of thing. Uh, and, uh, you know, just getting that clarity, that accountability moving forward and uh, that type of thing. So this is really beautiful uh, and becoming clear on what what you're looking for, what you want uh, in love and life. Uh, anything else for this person over here? Let's see what else. They're becoming a beacon for others. So they actually shine in the light for others to lead the way. So this person's in a leadership position in some way. And they're kind of lighting the light, you know, kind of uh, leading the light for others uh, and, and offering a sense of, of, of light in terms of, of these times that a lot of us might be going through. So um, this person is could be considered uh, some sort of leader in some way, shape or form uh, and carrying the torch in what it is that they do or in this relationship. And this is also about this person is possessing a free will to uh, create their own happiness in, in, in the life. And so it's a card of freedom. All right. And, and, and this is saying the power and the free will to to create the life as they wish. And I think that's what they're doing. And, and that's what they're doing and and, think, and seeing what their life, what, how they want to move forward in their life and how they want to move forward in love. I'm going to pull a love card for this person. I want to see what, what wants to come through. Anything else in terms of this other side? enchanted forest so there's some sort of excitement and, and magic and some sort of mystery with this other person is what you maybe that you're finding um uh, sag here is that you, you're kind of you're kind of seeing that a little bit and that's kind of what i'm what i'm finding um there's some sort of um uh there's some sort of of mystery uh here and gosh you guys and if i say uh, capricorn they're, they're, i don't know for some reason capricorn's coming out a lot in here this is a Sagittarius reading, but there's but Capricorn's coming a lot, out a lot in the end here. Um, and I feel that there's some sort of unknown as it relates to this Capricorn, maybe in terms of their life, in terms of uh, in terms of love, right? It's like unknown and there's hearts up here, right? And it's kind of like you want something solid, but there's some things that are unknown. It's kind of like entering some sort of uh, enchanted forest, right? Where you want things to grow, but there's stuff unknown. And, and sometimes in love, that's just how it is sometimes. And you just kind of like you're going on this journey, right? 
But this person is going through some changes and they're going through some sort of transformation that is really helping them move forward. The interesting thing is that it's it's almost like it's 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 like start the biggest part of the transformation is starting inside them and then they'll notice more in the exterior. But that's what's coming into play. Wow. Let's take a look um, at in terms of what the universe advice is for you. Um, what is the universe's advice for you, uh, Sag? What wants to come out for you here? What is that? What advice does the universe want to give you? Here it is. What is it? What do we have here? Okay. If they loved you, they still do. Wow. This is interesting. Yeah, you know, and love, you know, again, if you're if you're wondering if that person still loves you, this is saying yes. Now keep in mind too that love takes on many forms, right? So, but this is really talking about that being thankful for every time that you've ever felt in love. Uh, and this is saying whether or not it was obvious or whether or not that uh, you know that it lasted or whether or not they loved you back, it still changed everything, right? And that's what this is saying. And actually, you're always loved back. And that's what the universe wants to let you know, okay? And it says, you're changer, the universe, all right? So if you're, if you're wondering if this person still loves you, this is saying, yes, they do. They still do. Uh, anything else that wants to come out for the universe? Uh, any uh, advice from the universe to you? Anything else? Let's see. Here it is. Time to make a demonstration, okay? So... Is it time for you to say, I love you back to this person? Okay, note your comments below or to someone that has been giving love to you. Note your comments below, guys. I would love to know, okay? <laughs> so that could be the case because the older the soul, the softer the glance is what this card is talks about. The quicker the smile and the sooner to say, I love you, okay? All right, so that's what's coming through here. And it's just, uh, that's what's coming out. So it could be that um, that now it's your turn to uh, take time to make a demonstration of love. All right, that's what's coming through. Beautiful, beautiful, Sag. All right, so note your comments below. I'd love to hear more on how this resonates with you. And I look forward to seeing you uh, in the second half of May. Until then, namaste.